Welcome back, Rust King. If you're joining us for the first time, my name is Bogdan, and this channel is all about the Rust programming language. In today's short video, I'm going to be going over the best backend web frameworks in Rust. So with that, let's get rusty. First, let's talk about what a backend web framework is. Imagine you were developing a Rust API for your website. If you were to develop your REST API completely from scratch, it would take a lot of work. So to simplify your life, backend frameworks were created to take care of tasks that are common to most backend web apps. Things such as routing, data storage, logging, templating, and more. Now that we have some background, let's talk about the most popular backend web frameworks in Rust. The number one most popular framework is Rocket. Rocket is a web framework for Rust that makes it simple to write fast and secure web applications without sacrificing flexibility, usability, or type safety. The Rocket framework has a lot of great features such as templating, first-class JSON support, forms, cookies, and more. But the thing that's notable about the Rocket framework is just how simple and ergonomic it is to use. One way Rocket is able to achieve this is by making use of Rust's macro system. I mean, just look at how beautiful and concise this code is, which sets up a simple route. The other big selling point of Rocket is great documentation and examples. If we go to the Rocket GitHub repo and scroll down to the examples folder, you'll find a ton of great examples you can learn from and use. Best of all, Rocket is a stable production ready framework which you can start using today. Another very popular framework is Actix Web. Actix Web is a powerful, pragmatic, and extremely fast web framework for Rust. As you can see, writing a simple HTTP server in Actix Web is fairly straightforward. However, the main selling point, again, is just how freaking fast it is. If we look at some benchmarks here, you can see that Actix Web is extremely fast, coming in second place, only be by the Dragon C++ framework. So if you're looking for a stable production ready framework that focuses on speed, consider checking out Actix Web. Rocket and Actix Web are the two main players in the Rust web framework space, but I'd like to mention a few other web frameworks that you might be interested in. First, we have Warp. Warp is a super simple composable web framework for warp speeds. Next, we have Tide. Tide is a minimal framework, think Flask for Python, built for rapid development. And lastly, we have Gotham, which is a flexible web framework that promotes stability, security, safety, and speed. That's it for the list of frameworks. Note one caveat, which is that because the Rust ecosystem is still developing, these frameworks are not as feature rich as frameworks such as Rails for Ruby, or Django for Python. If you're interested to learn more about the Rust web ecosystem, both front end and back end, visit www.arewebyet.org. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to tickle that like button. And if you wanna see weekly Rust content, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come out. Lastly, I have a free Rust cheat sheet, which you don't wanna miss out on. So if you want access to that, click the link in the description. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.